welcome to this vlog you guys starting off right here now in the car because we are off to an exciting date night I'm so excited because we've only ever gone to well you've probably been there before without me um Chad and Barton have mm -hmm. yeah like for we drink we have Nana and Bibi's uh, oh, 50th yeah. uh, wedding anniversary um but the, the only time I went was earlier this summer. Did I even say it yet? Chad and Barson. <laughs> I went earlier this summer with Max and Taylor and Chase and we just had drinks. And I was like, mark my words, we'll be back here for dinner later this summer. Mm -hmm. It'll be so good. Um, so that's where we're going right now. I'm really excited. I wanted to bring you guys along because this is just going to be like a special chat and date night. What I was going to say is, I was going to say it's a hike for us. It's not a hike. It's just not like really close where we are on the Cape. So... I'd call it a hike. Yeah, you think it's a hike? Cod terms. Yeah, I guess it is like a hike. <laughs> um, also, I wanted to say I ordered this dress recently, and I'll show you guys better when I get out of the car. Listen to that. <laughs> You'll be able to hear me from a mile away. I'm still in summer mode. I know it's halfway through September, but this is going to be my conclusion of summer outfits because this is very summery, but it's still been so warm on the Cape, so. Yes. Oh, I wish I filmed that sign. It said you were entering Chatham. Mm. That was really cute. But here we are. P.S. If my makeup looks crazy, I just did my makeup in the car on the way here. So <laughs> I'm really scared. My blush and bronzer is like uneven from side to side. So if it is, That's great. You know why. Thank you. Jenny King. My name is Max. <laughs> Max. Max. Hey, from Max. <laughs> and shoes are Steve Madden. Nice Great. Them. That's yeah for the night. I did my makeup like first thing this morning, which I feel like I normally don't do. But you guys will see why. Because we're going somewhere so exciting in a minute. It's probably the title of this video. To get me in the freaking mood for fall, which I'm not ready for. But if it probably seems like dreary and kind of cool weather fall right now. I swear, is it like this anywhere you guys live? Especially this summer, Cape Cod has been so foggy. And I feel like specifically where we live, in every morning and every night, or like evening, afternoon, eh, evening. Every morning and evening, it's like really foggy. And then in the middle of the day, it'll get really sunny and clear up. But every morning and night, it's like this. Like it's so foggy. Like sometimes driving home at night, you can't even like see the road. It's like there you guys live. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. I feel like I didn't even film that much at dinner last night. Um, well, it got dark for one. And we were kind of just like enjoying the moment and talking. And yeah, so that's that. But... First thing, I did, oh, Brody. First thing, I gotta shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Princess Polly, for sponsoring this video. My entire outfit right now that I'm wearing today is from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with it. I'm really leaning into the oversized for fall. I'm in my oversized era. Just wanna be really comfy, okay? So, yes. I'm gonna try on all my new pieces from Princess Polly for you guys. I'll link everything down below in the description. You can shop all my new favorite pieces. And don't forget, before I forget to mention, my code is Gretchen20 for 20% off. Gretchen20, because you guys will DM me being like, what's your Princess Polly code again? And it has changed in the past, so Gretchen20 will get 20% off. I know they have free express shipping in the US on orders over $50. They also have shop pay and after pay available for the US customers. So without further ado, here we go. This tank top, I actually already own, but I just thought it was really cute with this outfit, so I threw it on. But this is Princess Polly, I can link it as well. It's honestly one of my all-time faves from Princess Polly, because it's like a little corset, cropped tank situation. I love it. Okay, this jacket. 
I've been eyeing for a minute now and I would look at it and be like oh I don't know do you need it and I was like yeah I do need it because it's like this vintage wash almost looking like chocolatey brown oversized leather jacket and it just looks like amazing <laughs> I just love it it just looks like a vintage jacket and I love the look of it and then these jeans are quite baggy on me I actually ordered a size up which if you don't want them this baggy, don't order a size up. I'm like, did I get them too big? But I kind of love them like this, like really slouchy and could always belt them if I wanted to. I love like the raw hem at the bottom. So these are just like adorable. I love this wash for fall. I love all of this together. Okay, another kind of leather jacket right here. You guys need, look at this. It's kind of like a charcoal here is this better if I turn on the lights in here maybe but then I feel like it's very like orange looking so you can see better. it's kind of did I just say out loud it's like a charcoal color I just love this for fall look at this together kind of like oversized obviously cropped so so cute so good okay this is getting me so excited I gotta be honest to go to Max's hockey games I feel like this is my go-to outfit at his hockey games in the fall and winter like an oversized blazer denim and like a tank top short sleeve shirt bodysuit whatever and yeah this actually does make me excited for fall yeah just oversized black blazer this is a small i could have even gone up to like a medium for a more oversized fit i feel like normally i'd get that um but the fit is oversized kind of like to begin with such a good black staple blazer okay <laughs> why am i loving this this is kind of iconic in this moment okay canadian tuxedo like why is this so cute max and i actually went to our favorite wedding of all time a couple summers ago and their welcome party night one was canadian tuxedo attire and everyone wore this or i wore like a denim dress i think or denim jumpsuit so fun anyway I digress, it reminds me of that. This is so fun together. But normally I would wear this with like black jeans or leggings or something. But this is such a good denim oversized jacket. Their jackets are slaying this fall. So good. You guys need this. Such a good wash. It's like the perfect, not too heavy, not too light. It's like feels really nice quality. And this is the size small medium, in case you guys are wondering. A lot of these jackets, like the fit is oversized to begin with so take that into account and if it helps normally i would say i'm a us six on their website next up we've got this white little vest top i'm loving this top right now i'm seeing this style everywhere for this fall and this is such a good one it's like a linen material i have the perfect white linen pants to go with to make it a set but i also love it with jeans and i love that this one in specific has like this tie in the back to give you some more shape so good okay like i said i'm in my oversized era look at this t-shirt i was like all right i need this i'm loving the style of this adorable i like the charcoal gray the pink the comfiest tee obviously oh this would be so cute under one of those jackets under the blazer under the denim jacket, under the leather jacket. Adorable. I love the look of like a graphic tee, baggy jeans, but also just like comfy lounging as well. Such a comfy tee. I have it tucked in. Could like leave it loose and cozy. Okay, then saving the best for last. Personally, I think. Look at this dress. Okay, for all of you brides out there, fiancés, buy this. Okay? You're welcome. Gretchen said so. Just buy it. This is the most perfect. I was gonna say midi dress. No, maxi dress. And it's silky. It's like a champagne cream color. Perfect fit. Ties in the back up there. So you can like adjust it. Drapes in the back. So good. I say that about everything. So, so good. But literally all the pieces I got are so good. And you need to know that. So Again, everything will be linked down below in the description. You guys can use my code Gretchen20 for 20% off. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had the most chilling experience. Oh, I'm traumatized. I literally have the chills right now. I feel like an ick. I want to go shower. Oh, no, 
don't know. <laughs> I can't think about it. Okay, basically there was a huge, long story short, spider web. Well, it, it is a short story. <laughs> I don't need to make it long. There's a huge spider web between the house and my car. And I saw the spider yesterday start spinning and it became a huge web from last night to this morning. And I was thinking, that's scary. I can't walk into it. And I forgot. And I just walked right into it and the spider was on the web and the web was on me. And like, oh, okay, we're okay. It's okay spooky season for fall am i right okay this will be good to cheer me up where we're going right now i'm so excited this is the only reason i'm excited for fall this is the only time i'll allow anyone to talk about fall as if they're talking about the trader joe's fall things this is basically the one thing that's getting me excited for fall is what i'm saying because i don't want someone to be over i don't want to leave cape cod I don't want to leave my house i don't want to go for hockey season It'll be great, but I'm just, I can't let summer go yet. That's what I'm saying. And it's mid-September, so I know. I know it's going, but it's still warm here. So anyway, going to Trader Joe's, going to try to find some fall pumpkin things. It's going to get me in the mood for fall. It's going to get me excited. So let's go. Oh my, I see the spider web on my key right there just got back and what I actually didn't even show you guys is I stopped by Whole Foods on the way back as well because I feel like I've turned into a snob with my oat milk of choice. I'm very picky. I like the Califia Barista blend. I like Oatly. I like Chobani and I don't like the Trader Joe's oat milk. Do any of you like the Trader Joe's oat milk or do you drink the Trader Joe's oat milk or maybe I just haven't had the right one? Let me know. Comment down below. Because if you've tried, if you like the ones I like and if you've tried, like the Trader Joe one I had before, I feel like it just tasted like really watery and I was like, oh no, I like it like creamy and yummy. So I went there just for that. Or at least that's what I told myself and I ended up getting so much. So I'll show you guys that after. But this is supposed to be a Trader Joe's fall moment. So here we go. In no specific order, I'm just going to start throwing stuff at you. I guess I'll try to pick the pumpkin-y fall things first. I don't know why, it's because I'm so not ready for fall yet, but it's coming, I need to accept it. I feel like in years past, I'm like dying for the fall things to come out and there will be one pumpkin thing available and they like slowly roll them out. And today I was like, wow, pumpkin everywhere. Like it was all there. So here we go. Pumpkin tortilla chips, yum. Is it bad if I open it? <laughs> the first thing I open, I need to try. I'm like, oh my God, yum. Some of these, you know, you might not like, might not be my thing, might not be necessary, but I thought I could try. That would get me in the fall spirit and it would be fun. Yum, 10 out of 10. And something about Max and I is we love our chips and salsa. Like, love. So, I thought we and had to get these two fall leaf tortilla chips. And I could see Max not liking the pumpkin ones. I feel like he's not crazy about pumpkin spice fall everything. Oh, that like pumpkin flavor and everything, you know? So I feel like these are normal, just in a leaf shape. Which is like so fun. I do not remember those from years past. Okay. I couldn't find the pumpkin spice or just pumpkin bagels. Oh, wow. This I didn't even read. I feel like they normally just have pumpkin bagels. I couldn't find them. Maybe they're out. Now I didn't even read the whole thing, but it says pumpkin pie spice bagels. Wow. These are probably good. These are the gluten free ones, but I'm not gluten free, but I'm sure they'll be delicious. Got two things of eggs. These aren't very fall. I guess they're kind of fall colors. Uh, yeah, we just go through eggs really quick. We make eggs like every day for breakfast. Pum Ooh, I thought fall. Pumpkin cranberry crisps. Yum. Their fig and olive in the purple box is my favorite cracker of all time. So those are going to be delicious. Bananas. Sorry, there's just some normal stuff sprinkled throughout. Well, not sorry. I just, I went grocery shopping, but I tried to focus on all the fun fall things. This caught my eye. I also saw this at Whole Foods, so they have it at both if you want to try it out. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice latte. I don't know if I was about to say pumpkin pie. Pumpkin spice latte. La Colombe. I love La Colombe so much. I always get their oat milk draft latte in person, but I haven't tried their little cans. So I'm going to throw this over ice in a second and try that. We got some maple flavored fudge. Okay, this I wasn't going to get. I'm like, since when do I eat fudge? Like, never. I actually don't even think I really like fudge, but I got this for my mother. I feel like she loves fudge, and I'm going to see her next weekend, and so I thought that would be good to give to her. I feel like Max is about to be home, and it's going to scare me when he walks in the front door. 
Okay, um, Kamada Olives, my new recent obsession. I thought I hated these forever. I think I did not like them. Now I love them in my Greek salads. This is either gonna be a hit or miss. We gotta try this for you guys later. Fall Harvest Salsa. It's either gonna be like 100% yes or 100% no. Autumnal fruits, veggies, pumpkin, apples, butternut squash. Okay, I didn't read the apple thing in there. This might be kind of scary. On a chip, like apple, it's gonna taste like applesauce. I don't know. We'll try that for you guys. Okay, next up, corn chip dippers. I may go as far to say, well, I feel like I have like my top Holy Grail Trader Joe's favorites of all time, and this is in there. It probably isn't like number one, but this is my top faves. It's close to number one. These are so freaking good. I think they're just like Fritos, right? Is that what those are called? Okay. Pumpkin ravioli. Yum. I actually love these. I remember having these last fall. I feel like I mixed them with their butternut squash ravioli and had like a medley of both. Yum. Especially with, oh yeah, here it is. The autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Trader Joe's, buy this, then buy this, and buy the butternut squash one, or buy either or both if you wanna be, if you wanna like try both. All of this together tastes like delicious fall dinner in your mouth. You're gonna love it. <laughs> I'm influencing you guys on stuff that actually matters. I'm like, step one, buy these. <laughs> step two, boil this for like three minutes and it's done, it's so easy. Okay, got another jar. Cause they only have these in the fall and I feel like I've loaded up in years past. I'll get like three or four and they're in my pantry and I like make them throughout the year. Broccoli, I just <laughs> mix in a vegetable somewhere. Oh, wow, I gotta put these in the freezer. They feel like they're melting. Frozen blueberries, gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. I remember last year I didn't see the normal one and I got this one, and this year I did see the normal one, but I remember this one being really good, so I just stuck with this one. And this box was cuter, too, with the pumpkin bread. Yum, I'm so excited for all these things now. I'm, I'm not excited for fall. I want like all the fall food and flavors, but I also want it to be warm, <laughs> which it is. So it just feels like fall food at the end of summer. I feel like it technically isn't autumn until like the end of September. Am I right? Can someone tell me the day? I feel like it's September 20 something. So technically it's not really fall yet. At least when I'm filming this, maybe when this is up. I don't know why <laughs> I grocery shopped hungry. That's why I got some, such a mod podge of things. Um, is that the right word? What is mod podge podge of things? Yeah, I got the biggest thing of strawberries ever. Just cause I was hungry. So I better, start eating those. You know what? Is anyone else like me? Like if I rinse all these right now and cut them up in, cont in a container, like I will eat them throughout the week. But if they sit like this, then they like go bad because I'm like too lazy to, do you know what I mean? So rinsing them and cutting them up first thing and then having them ready to pick at makes me eat my fruit. That's my life hack. Okay. Spinach. Spring mix. Baby lettuce mix. Okay, not spring mix. I don't really know the difference. Another spinach. Okay, we got some vegetables. Look at me go. Harvest chili. Hi. I'm doing a haul. Hi. Okay, this is going to be hit or miss. This I got because of you. What is it? Harvest chili. Because remember we were talking about the chili that we make in the fall? This is either going to be like that or not as good. But we make this black bean sweet potato like homemade chili in the fall. And this is black beans, butternut squash, sweet potatoes, pumpkin puree, chili spices. I feel like this is going to be good. Keep you guys updated on all these things as we try. Acai package. Okay, I have not made an acai bowl in ages, like in legit years. And Max's mom had one the other day that looked so good. And I was like, that's it. I'm getting the acai packets. I'm making that again. Feta cheese. Yum. For my Greek salad. That has been my fixation this summer. Greek salad. Mmm. Every day. It's like all that I want. This, I think, is my number one fave. When I was saying, like, the corn chip dippers are, like, close to number one, I think these are number one. Like, of all time, the sweet potato gnocchi. Oh, my yum. They are so good. Caramelized onion dip. Also, a recent fave, but def, like, up there. You guys must try this. It's so good. Specifically with this. These are both delicious, but together, even better. Okay. <laughs> hash browns. Yum. Their hash browns are so good. Remember when I was putting the avocado and egg on top and making like avocado toast with them? Yum. I need to do that again. Spicy jalapeno chicken sausage. My fave. Mm, with like peppers and onions and rice and sauce. So good. 
Okay, I don't, like I really got way too much food. <laughs> we better eat at home like every freaking meal the next couple days before Max leaves. Because we always get this pesto chicken breast. It's so good. It's like marinated already. Yum. Please get that. And recently made chicken thighs. I think that we marinated ourselves in pesto that were really good. And this said shawarma chicken thighs. I don't know if I've had like shawarma chicken before. That must just be like the spices marinade. Um, but I'm sure it'll be good. So we're going to try that as well. Greek non-fat yogurt vanilla. Just vanilla yogurt. It's so good. I, we normally get the Chobani or the Too Good is my favorite. This one's like really sweet, but I like it. It's probably like just tons of sugar, but it's really yummy. Then last but not least to conclude butternut squash mac and cheese. I grabbed two of these because I'm going to give one to my sister or let her eat one when she's here because I remember she loves those and she's always makes me think of her and lastly jasmine rice our favorite this is the one that you put in the microwave for three minutes boom done i was gonna get a bag of dry rice and then i saw this and it was like this is even better okay i don't even know what's going on behind me they're still having oh we need to try this right now that concludes the fall trader joe's haul okay just emptied my whole foods bags Here's the Whole Foods haul. I'll just show you guys. Like this. Literally, I went for this and maybe almond milk for Max. I <laughs> got all of this. But hear me out. You can get this granola at Trader Joe's. Even these um, tomatoes. Like most of this stuff. Oh, this I just didn't even think about at Trader Joe's. So I got raspberries, avocados. I feel like they're always riper at Whole Foods. I feel like they're never ripe at Trader Joe's. Um, Frozen salmon, didn't even think about this at Trader Joe's, but I love doing that for dinner. And it's so easy to have it frozen, can defrost whenever. This I don't, they might have this at Trader Joe's, but I just saw it and was like, yum. With the crackers I got, that stuff's the best. Okay, Taylor put me on to this. I found this dip that we had, remember Max? The fig and pistachio, like cream cheese kind of dip. Mm -hmm. Yum, this stuff was so good. Shout out Taylor for introducing us to that. Also, she introduced me to these tomatoes that taste so sweet and yummy. They're like sugar bomb tomatoes. So I grabbed a bunch of these. They taste way better than normal cherry tomatoes. Highly recommend. Um, these just jumped out at me. Pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. Obviously, I had to grab those. Also, these as well. Pumpkin spice sweet Lawrence. Haven't tried this yet. This might be new this year. Or at least I didn't see them last year because I always do the chocolate chunk ones. Um, so those are going to be delicious. My favorite cookie dough ever. This I also have not tried, I don't believe. Pumpkin spice perfect bar. Had to grab all the pumpkin things, mm -hmm. you guys. Like, you just gotta. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but I do. <laughs> okay, almond milk for Max. He prefers almond milk in his coffee. I prefer oat, prefer oat milk. I grabbed that. Actually, I think I might even like the Chobani one better, but uh, I think they only have it at like, Target. I didn't see it at Whole Foods. This creamer, I've been dying for, actually, I don't even think I've tried it. <laughs> I've been dying to try, I've been dying for Max to try, because he likes the um, brown sugar creamer from Trader Joe's, but I was like, we gotta try this one. This one's Brooke's favorite, shout out Brooke. And she's told me about it, so I'm really excited to try that in my coffee. And lastly, the yummiest granola. I'm not like green free or anything, but you guys need to try this one, because it doesn't even taste like, I mean, it does taste like granola, but it just is like, mostly like nuts like i don't know how to describe it just like sweet like clusters of like crunchy nuts and cashews and coconut sugar it's so good this one's my favorite i don't even think i've tried this one they're gonna be delicious so that is my whole foods haul it's way later i have not barely vlogged the rest of the day at all i mean you can see it's nighttime apologies yes yeah, so you actually won't believe what happened after the hugest, the hugest, the most large grocery haul ever, we went out to dinner. <laughs> Which I was like, Max, we have to eat at home and eat all these groceries, especially before he leaves. He was like, well, actually kind of have a lot of dinner plans. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. So we actually went out to dinner and I have never been so stuffed in my life. I am so full, but I can't help myself at this restaurant. It's one of my most favorites here on the Cape, Chris in Osterville, if you know you know the best greek salad the best pizzas all the pizzas are so so good here's the evidence 
the leftover <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. I don't even know if you'll be able to see. Hang on. A little maybe. Only had a couple pieces left over. Yum. This is the farm egg one. I know it sounds weird, but try it if you go. It's like um, ricotta, crushed red pepper. I think there's some prosciutto in there. Yum. And then this one was the spicy one. There's like banana pepper, red pepper, ricotta. Um, yeah, you literally can't go wrong though. They're all so delicious. Looking at this, I want to eat another one, but like I just ate like probably 10 and I have a stomach ache. Is anyone else like me? It's so bad when I like something that I'm eating a lot even though I like know I'm full I'm like well I'm gonna eat another piece of pizza like it's just that good stomach ache I need to be more mindful mindful with my eating and not just like let myself overeat and not like pay attention to my body at all but I noticed the most especially when I'm out to dinner like so out to dinner like social and stuff apologies also I didn't even bring my vlog camera because we were just like with Max's fam you know what I'm gonna do while I have you Let's do it together. Let's be proactive because I already have a stomach ache and it's going to be like hard to sleep. I'm going to take my Helma. If you guys remember, maybe you didn't see, if you don't follow my Instagram, um, when I was, it's not English, when I was in Italy traveling, the Helma gas and blow release. These have been my fave. And I just take two when I'm getting that uncomfortable feeling going on. It's what I feel like right now. It just feels like bloated but just really uncomfortable and this helps so much just ease the uncomfortable pain so i am going to take two of them right now it's hard to do with one hand oh please hold i'm making a mess okay we're gonna take those two easy peasy work your magic helma what's that tiktok sound you better work <laughs> They do. They actually help a lot with that uncomfortable feeling. So if you guys deal with just like uncomfortable bloating, especially when you travel, you're in a new environment, eating new food, um, that's especially what it is for me. And when I just go crazy when I'm out to eat and eat like 10 times the amount I normally would and my stomach's freaking out, I'm like, hmm, I wonder why. So yeah, I highly recommend I can link these down below for you guys. The gas and bloat relief is my favorite. And if I still have a code for them, I'm not sure. I might. I'll put that in the description box as well. Okay, Hello. I'm going to go tuck myself in. <laughs> it's the next day. I haven't vlogged yet today. And Max and I are running errands. Yeah. It's going to be great. Apologies if I have, like, acai in my teeth. Oh, do you? I definitely had some on my lips. Or I had, oh, like, no. some stuck in my Ooh. teeth. I think I got it out. Yikes. Well, we just made acai bowls at home. They were so good. I have not done that in, like, years. And Max's mom inspired me because she had one the other day. And it looked so good. And we made them, like, delicious. Sorry. I should have showed you guys. But, now, like I said, we're running errands. We're out front of the post office because first up on the list. I'm shipping some things mm. to Miss Anna Hyde. Shout out Anna. Love you. Miss you. Is that a box? And these, no, they're just like all wrapped up in oh, tissue they're... paper. Things that CB Positano, or CB by Corey. I don't know. I feel mm -hmm. like there's things that say both. It's the boutique in Positano that we're at. And has like all the handmade like makeup bags, dresses, bags, like so cute. And Anna is the one she's the reason that i knew about it because she went a while back and they love her and so they were like do you mind like if we give you some stuff you can ship it to her when you get back to the us and i was like yeah of course so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i really want to see what they are they kind of heavy so i feel like they're dresses but they're all wrapped up really nice so i'm not gonna like open them but yes coming your way miss anna <laughs> next up on the list home goods the promised land <laughs> You know how much I love, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's anything for Lucy's new apartment. Uh, oh, I wanna see if they have like little espresso cups. Mm. Oddly specific, but someone told us that they found them here. Okay, we're making moves. Basically our third floor, the little bathroom up there, there's like this big space in the corner that we need something. I thought like a little shelving unit. Are you testing that? Pretty good, pretty good height. And you sit on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but like toilet paper in there, like washcloths or something. We're deciding between this one and this one. I think it's a big space, so this one might like fill it up more. Even though it's shorter, it's like wider. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Perfect. We're gonna get this for Lucy's bathroom. Some more storage. 
Look at us go with our little bathroom storage solutions. <laughs> Next up. Now the real holy grail. <laughs> we are at mine now. We're at Max. <laughs> we have to return um, your golf outfit. Well, because Taylor got me a couple options. We went golfing the other day. I don't even think I vlogged that. Um, so we have two shirts I didn't wear that we're going to return. Last stop was Target. Oh, that's me getting yelled at. Please hold. Illegal. Okay, um, Target. Got something so exciting. Saran well, it, it really is exciting because <laughs> it's not for the intended purpose Are you gonna that tell you them normally why? use saran wrap for. Why did I get We'll that? be storing that saran wrap in our bathroom for whatever <laughs> odd reason. No, I don't think I'll put it in my bathroom. Oh, I think you should. I think I'll just leave it in the kitchen still. So you're gonna do your hair mask in the kitchen? <laughs> sure. That's cute. You remember I showed Max, I saw this TikTok and this girl. <laughs> If you got <laughs> very rude to interrupt. You guys know I want to say her name's Han. I don't think that's right. That doesn't sound right. Frick, I feel so bad oh, I'm putting her name. This is bad. This <laughs> This girl keeps popping up on my for you page and I think it's because TikTok she's knows. She's the saran wrap head girl. Well, I'm sure you could say that, but I feel like she's really the hair health girl and TikTok probably knows I'm in my hair healing journey trying to get my thickness back. I actually was thinking today how next time I get my hair done, I might say like go a little darker. Whoa. And not like a lot, but just less, the less bleach I could put in my hair, probably the better for the health. So maybe try to do more of like a blended root just less blonde. Anyway, what I'm trying I to say really is this girl kept. This girl. I really could. This girl that kept popping up on my had for it you once page. all summer. <laughs> Damn. She said she healed her hair like in a year by doing all these things, and one of them was putting this um, oil on her scalp on her hair wash day. And I am very easily influenced. I immediately ordered on Amazon. <laughs> I'm just picturing you walking around the house with saran wrap on your head. So she does, so once a week before she washes her hair, she does oil on her head and then she does like a hair mask through the ends of her hair and she wraps it all up in saran wrap because she says like the heat of her head with the saran wrap like makes it work extra But, good. but. And we didn't have that so I had to go buy it. But then you put a towel in the dryer and oh, you I heat forgot it, she did that. I forgot she did that. And then you put that on your head and that's what makes it stay heated and hot. You know, I'm happy you said that because I would have just put it, the saran wrap on my head and moved on with my day. That, it, and I, just had plastic on my head, but that's smart to do the heated towel over time. I'm picturing those videos of the dog owner putting saran wrap on their head and like covering it with peanut butter while oh, they try to yeah. like clip their nails yeah. up and I'm picturing you. <laughs> you guys seen those TikToks? But if anyone knows who I'm talking about, I need to look up her name right now. I I feel like it's Hannah, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just thinking of my friend Hannah. But she basically is inspiring me in my whole life because she just has it together. She looks like so classy and like clean and her hair's really thick and nice. She does such a good job with her makeup. She makes like the best looking recipes. So we love following her. Ashley, I'm so dumb. Why was I saying Hannah? Uh -huh. Ashley Page, if you guys know her, it's not even like loading. But basically, I want to go back and stock all of her TikToks. Look at her. Shout out. Look. I'm your new number one fan. I have to tell you guys this as well. I was going to tell them on the way home, and then we got onto my TikTok fascination recently. But this is something I learned from Max. Max. I said Max. This is something I learned from Max. Because I, I started saying the next thing I was going to say, that you never know if you, <laughs> you never, you never know if you don't ask. You know, you've been interrupting me a lot today. You know, you always complain I'm not chatty enough. So the one time I am chatty. It's an issue. I hate it. <laughs> Come here. Well, I also said we match today. Look at our. You, well, I, <laughs> our I, I, I had this on first. No. Yes, I. No, I don't think so. Did I see it before I went and showered in jeans? Yes. I had this on since 7 a.m. when I was up and you were still. 
No, I, I slept into them. Okay, okay. What I'm trying to say is that you taught me that you never know if you don't ask, like, in life. Like, I feel like your go-to is like, well, you might as well ask. The worst they could say is no. And you taught me that. And it's a good way to go about life because then you're not, like, scared of, like, oh, this probably won't work. Like, I just won't even try. But, like, if you're nice, most times people want to, like, help you out. What I'm trying to say is, like, Bought this candle, this fall candle the other day at Bath and Body Works leaves. And I literally dropped the bag walking the into the car and it shattered. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna like throw this away, buy a new one. What a fail. And Max was like, well, you might as well just like ask. So I literally went back today and I was like, I am really dumb and dropped this off into my car. Like, I swap it out for a new one. And she was so nice. She didn't even want to see the receipt or anything. She's like, okay, no one has time for that. Let's just give you a new one. And I was like, wow, thanks. So, <laughs> you never know if you don't ask. That reminds me of your bathing suit in Italy. Mm -hmm. They have no idea. <laughs> They're like, you guys are <laughs> cheating the system. But not on purpose. Obviously, that was an accident. And then when we were in Italy, Max bought this bathing suit. And we didn't know. Apparently, they're sizing, like... Max would normally get like a medium shorts or bathing suit. So he grabbed a medium bathing suit, put it on out of there because he wanted to wear it out of there. And then we were walking around the next like 30 minutes, hour, and he's like, God, the waistband's so tight and so uncomfortable. Maybe I'll just see if they can like swap it out for a new one even though I've been wearing it. And they were so nice and they were like, oh yeah, actually our sizing, the medium is really like a US small, like we're mm -hmm. like one smaller. Oh, That's little, like, boy. no wonder. So then they let us switch it out. So yeah, you never know, you might as well ask. And what I've really learned when it really comes in clutch is you're just so good at just being really nice and like honest. Like I'll never forget when we were first dating on like a road trip or something and McDonald's had just closed. I always think about that when we went through the drive-thru. And he was like, hey, how's it going? And he was like, oh, sorry, man. Like we actually just closed. And Max was like, oh no, dang it. Like we were just gonna get like fries or something. And he was like, yeah, sorry. Like probably like we opened at this time, closed at this time, whatever. And Max was like, got any extra fly fries laying around? And he's like, yeah, we do. Why don't I get you some? <laughs> He just like gave them to us. So you never know if you don't ask. We're sick today's down. Okay, I this vlog is probably so long now. I've been chatting so much at the end here. So I'll let you guys go. Love you so much. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I thought you were coming to say bye. Are you gonna bring that up stiff? Sure. Bye. <laughs> Okay, wait, P.S. I know I just ended off this vlog, but I had to show you guys. Just ran up the stairs quick with this little shelving thing we got. Isn't this perfect for this corner? Because it was like awkwardly such a big space and we could definitely have something taller. Maybe that would like fill the space and look better, but this is kind of the tallest they had. And I feel like it's so cute. We can put extra toilet paper in there, like washcloth, something like that. And I saw the vision of doing like fun wallpaper in here. Can you guys tell we like, <laughs> like everything needs to be beachy. Maybe a little bit too much woven, like jute everything. <laughs> Even the mirror. I can't, but um, yeah, this cute little powder bath. I feel like we can make really fun. I ultimately want to paint this white probably. I just feel like it'll go better. And I kind of want to do like pink and white wallpaper up here because in the powder bath on the first floor, I think I want to do like blue and white wallpaper, like Serena and Lily vibes. I don't know. So yeah, what do you guys think? But that was the perfect little find. Okay, I love how I end off the vlog and I'm fully vlogging again, but PSS, <laughs> PPS, <laughs> which one it is. Um, I just filmed a bunch for my Instagram and took a bunch of pictures up here, but I didn't show you guys, so I figured I might as well fill you in as well. Some updates. I swapped out the rug right here. Thank goodness, the one I ordered just barely fits. <laughs> might look a little too big for the space, but in person I really like the way it looks. And our day bed right here from Ikea. Love her, it's been so great with guests. This is a Rugs USA rug. We had Ikea Alex stores, those really tall ones over there before, but they weren't really functional up here. We just have two little Ottomans over there. I got those at Home Goods. I mean, it could be cuter, but like what the heck else? This is such an awkward little like cutout. I wish this was like a closet, but it's not. So anyway, <laughs> that's that. And then over here, I actually did like a little Instagram reel with Castlery, which is where these chairs are from. I love them so much. Look at these bad boys. They look just like, I feel like a lot of places have like swivel boucle chairs like this. Like, is it Crane Barrel or CB2? I always mix those up. Um, but yeah, these are like, I feel like they're all the same. Just like the perfect little swivel cozy chair and this rug I had over there before and it was really cozy and cute but I thought it would be even better right here and would fit in this 
tight little spot. So yes, that's also Rugs USA. Chairs, little stool that goes with. And this <laughs> really doesn't like go here. I guess it's fine, um, but we just have nowhere else to put it. And I had this concrete console table from Restoration Hardware at our last apartment. So it's just here right now. And I think I styled it kind of cute. That also is a piece of artwork that we had nowhere to go and just threw it in there. We still could find something better for this little inlet, inlet cutout thing. Um, maybe a plant or something. So if you guys have opinions, let me know. This lamp is Target, but I think we're doing pretty good with our third floor. It's feeling cozy and good vibes. To round out the tour up here, since it's pretty much good, I could do fun stuff on the walls up here. Everything's just white since I had the whole house painted white. I really like the ship lap right there. Maybe we could like extend that up. Would that be cute? Maybe. I don't know. My YouTube hack I found the other day. I just put it there. We just have all sorts of stuff right here. A fan made Maxis, and we like love it so much. It's a bunch of the teens he's played for, little Brody thing. So those are just up there. And then over here is our window seat, which we love, and just some workout stuff. So third floor, little impromptu tour complete. I'm getting emo looking out at the water because I don't want to go. Now saying goodbye to summer is so much more sad knowing that it means leaving our house and i guess i can say in the vlog right here i think it was the last vlog i maybe it was this one no i think it was the last vlog we were saying like oh we haven't even said where max is like going to training camp or anything like that and i was like oh should we say it max is like eh, they'll see and then literally yesterday the new Jer new jersey devils posted about him so kind of out in the open, I was getting a ton of DMs from you guys being like, oh my God, yes, I'm from New Jersey. Or like, I love the devils, whatever. It's so exciting. So yes, Max leaves in a couple days and I'm just going to play it by ear. And Brody and I will meet up with him wherever he ends up after training camp. But yeah, now that I'm feeling so settled here, I don't want to go, but okay, I really need to go. I end up this vlog like five times. Love you. Bye. <laughs>